If you plan on filing for your green card interview inside the United States, then you need to watch this video first. Hello everyone, I'm attorney Lee Marvin and I've been specializing in immigration law for over a decade. My main office is in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but I help families and individuals in every state in the country and really anywhere on the planet. If this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get notified of future videos related to immigration matters and other neat things that we post on our channel. So I will ask you to stick around. I've got three things that I want to give you today. The last one I think is the most important based on what's been happening with this administration's enforcement of immigration law. So stick around for that. Okay. You're not going to want to miss that. So immigration is constantly changing. Their protocols change because the Biden administration changes what, what they think are priorities, et cetera, et cetera. Often applicants are blindsided by these changes, which is why I'm here and posting these videos. Things that used to be okay are now huge no-nos. And that's kind of what I'm going to talk to you about down below. Okay. So the following I have three suggestions on things to avoid to prevent big problems with your immigration requests, specifically for a green card. Number one, do not file without the assistance of an immigration attorney. I know how that sounds, but it's the best advice I could give you because I tell you what, regardless of how you entered, regardless of how you stayed, things are changing. I'll give an example. Immigration is denying left and right visa overstays. I had a client who entered the country and she was denied after entering and overseeing her visa for a short period of time. Okay. So this is Biden's solution to the border crisis. So instead of deport, deporting people, instead of, of, of waiting for people to mess up and deporting him like, um, the last two presidents had done, he's denying people's requests for green cards and telling them that they have to leave the country in 30 days. Okay. So it all depends on a lot of things, right? But your overstay is a huge problem. So if you have an overstay, you got to talk to me before you file a single thing or you're going to regret it. Okay. So number two, do not file without an official birth certificate. So this is another trend with this administration. They have started requiring birth certificates when a passport in the past could be used to prove your um, country of citizenship. So they're requiring uh, uh, birth certificates. So if you enter the United States without your birth certificate, you need to get it. You need to request it right away because sometimes it takes months to get, especially if you need to request a replacement. So do not file without that birth certificate because you will regret it. Number three, and this is the most important tip that I told you to wait for uh, in my opening. Okay. The most important tip, do not file your green card request without an I-94 entry document. I had a client that entered with a uh, legal entry we're talking she entered she misplaced she uh, who knows she lost her i-94 entry document we filed for her even though we had proof that she entered legally we didn't have the i-94 so what did the government do they gave us a request for evidence and they gave us trouble so we had to request a replacement of that and now she's got her green card so it can be done but don't file without that entry document. And again, right here, I, I'm going to put the address. Look up your entry document online. They're not always there. Actually, a lot of times they're not there. So if yours isn't there, you need to request it directly from USCIS. And guess what? That takes about nine months. So do this before you file so you don't have a short period of time to respond and then you get denied. So again, the point of this video is to give you an idea of the new pitfalls and problems that people are facing with immigration. Reach out to me. I would love to help you succeed. You can follow me. You can uh, um, click for, for an appointment, but you need to talk to somebody before you make a choice 
and filing for something that's going to get rejected. I'm here to help you. I want to help you succeed.